and welcome back to Basic Bananas TV. Today I'd like to share with you something that I've been using over the last few months that has really improved on my productivity. I mean, I've, I do get a lot done already, but these two systems that I'm using that I have combined have really helped me get even more done. And, and sometimes, you know, I go through my to-do list and my to-do list is always never ending. But now, sometimes I feel like, okay, I have so much done already before, say, 12 o'clock, that I feel like I've probably done more in that half day than most people do in a full day or in a full week or a full month. Maybe not exactly that much. But I get a lot done because of the systems that I'm using now. So, and I've also got my team members onto this. I showed them how I'm using it and they're now using it too. And it's pretty amazing. So I, I thought I'd share this with you too. So I'm going to share with you on my computer a system that I'm using called Trello. So let's have a look on my computer right now. We are inside Trello and I've set up this example template for you so you can see how I'm using Trello to get a lot done, really to have super high crazy productivity and get the most important thing done every single day. Now the different lists that I've got I'm going to show you first and then I can show you how I'm using them. So I've got the today list, these are things I need to do today. Because it is an example, there is nothing in here. It's not that I have nothing to do. <laughs> then I'm using tomorrow, so I've already got stuff that I need to do tomorrow. What do I want to achieve this week, which is exactly what I write down at the, at the beginning of the week. So usually Sunday night or Monday morning, I would sit down and write down the tasks that I need to do. Then I've got things that I want to do, do this month. So February, ideas for quarter one, so goals that I need to do in quarter quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four and then I've also got a list with some days so something some tasks that I'm not sure when just yet but some days so that could be podcast recordings with guests for example I might say yeah look I'm not sure yet when I'm doing them but someday and then the last list here is done and that's really where I drag things that I've done so let's say I've done my recordings for the podcast I'm gonna put it into the done so at the beginning of every single day I go and I would take the tasks from this week so let's say website copy that's what I need to do this week I need to run the clever bunch of workshops I need to update brochure I've got a speaking engagement etc etc team activities etc so now I would have my list from this week and I would say okay today on you know let's say it's Monday I'm gonna do the website copy and actually I've also got my speaking gig today so I put those here usually I would have anywhere between three and six items that I would put into today list now if uh, what I can also do is I can say okay these things I'm gonna do today tomorrow I'm gonna work on this and on this now if of course as soon as I've done something so let's say I've done the website I've got the website copy done I go to archive uh, actually I don't go to archive sorry I'm, actually what I do is I take it so let's say I've done this and I put it into the done list so that I can see oh I've done actually quite a lot so that's how I use my list. Of course, I would always, as I come up with things that need to be done, I would come in here and I would put them in there as, as they come up too. So I would know, I would know okay, I have, to, I have to do workshop content or Q1 trip to LA for a speaking gig. Q2, maybe I, I go to Europe. Europe and Switzerland. So I also actually put my trips in here so I can see what's coming up or book launch I would put that in here so as things come up I put them in the different quarters and then as I go through the weeks and the days I move them around so I will go actually not the trip but I will go workshop content I want that to do in February so you can drag and drop things around and that's why this is such a cool system and I highly recommend using it this is a, a way of using it that I've come up myself you might come up with different ideas what works for you but this is how I like working with Trello and it works really well I use it every single day so now I'd like to share with you another system or technique that I'm using on top of Trello and that is the Pomodoro technique now the Pomodoro technique got invented by a guy called Francesco Cirillo and he, he invented it and it's called Pomodoro Pomodoro means 
tomato in Italian. It's this kitchen timer that looks like a tomato. And you set the timer to 25 minutes at a time. And for 25 minutes, you do nothing but work on the one thing. So there have been countless studies on how long we can actually focus on the one thing. So how long our brain has the capacity to focus without getting distracted. And 25 minutes has proven to be quite useful for most people. So what I do now is I take one of my list items on the Trello list, the most important thing at the top usually, and I usually start with the most important tasks in the day. So things that I might be putting off, but are really important. So I would take the first item, I would set my timer to 25 minutes. I use my iPhone, use my iPhone and I have a timer. Everyone has a timer on the phone, put it to 25 minutes. For 25 minutes, I do nothing but the one task. I'm not checking emails, I don't go on Facebook, I don't even pick up the phone. If my phone rings in the 25 minutes, I don't pick it up unless it's Richard Branson or my mother, but they don't call me that often. So I don't pick up in the 25 minutes. I focus on the one thing and you get so much done. I do a few Pomodoros in a row. So I would do a 25 minute Pomodoro run, get a lot done in the 25 minutes. Then I might take a quick break. I might go grab a, a drink or a snack or sometimes if it's in the morning, I would do a Pomodoro run. I take a break, might go for a quick surf or yoga or something like that. And then I come back and I do a few more of those Pomodoro focused time slots. And I find by, that by about lunchtime, if I do a few of those slots, say four, even just four or five or six, I get so much done because there are no distractions and I'm really focusing on getting things done that I usually I would procrastinate on that are really, no, I shouldn't, I should actually really get them done and it's incredible. So I hope this is useful. Try to combine the two, the Trello and the Pomodoro. I found that this has worked so well for me and I would love to hear from you actually. Are you using any other strategies to help you achieve a lot more? And also, once you apply Trello and Pomodoro, I would love to hear from you how you go. I know a lot of our members here at Basic Bananas, a lot of our Clever Bunch members have shared this with them and a lot of them are loving it. They said this is the best thing ever. So give it a go, let me know how you go and hopefully see you next time.